Do you experience difficulties talking openly to your children about the physical union? Of course, only you, the parent, can decide when and how you should talk about these life-enforcing issues. Many parents are now choosing to give the responsibility to teachers, PTA groups, and certain government officials. Inspector Jean Macquar is a leading child health and moral well-being professional, guaranteeing that your children are learning about the physical union in a spiritual and progressive way. Our kids appreciate his open and informal approach to these important life questions without shock and undue embarrassment, so often experienced by parents. Now, boys, you may be as young as nine or as old as 14, and all of a sudden your, your voice will start to snap, crackle, pop, in making you sound for a time rather like a lady until your voice deepens. When these transformations occur, the most important thing is that you ask questions. Because by asking questions, then you start to cope with the trauma that you're going through in a healthy manner. Let's take an example. Let's take the example of Johnny and his father. Johnny! Come on in now, boy, it's raining. Aw, oh, gee, Dad. It's not raining that hard. Doesn't have to be hard for you to get wet. Oh, okay. Dad? Yeah? Susie's shirt got wet in the rain and... Mm -hmm. How come Susie's got bumps on her chest and I don't? Do you remember, son, when we talked about our bodies changing? Yeah. So when we get ready to become adults and celebrate our physical union in a wholesome and spiritual way. That's right. So, what changes have you noticed? Well, I've got some hair on my upper lip, and, and my voice is almost as deep as Stevie Baskers. <laughs> and what about your penis? Does that word shock you, son? There's no reason to be ashamed. Why, uh... Your penis is... something like this umbrella. At the beginning, it's down here, and then for no particular reason, it starts going up. And, like an umbrella, a penis is only ever any good when it's put in use. Notice how Dad doesn't shy away from these difficult matters and lets Johnny know that his questions are nothing to be ashamed of. Sometimes it's hard to get a straight answer from your mom and dad to things that maybe even they do not understand. You could ask someone in your local church group or even fellow students, but sometimes they lack the experience and expertise too. What questions do you have about puberty and preparing for the physical union but don't dare to ask? Let's go back to Inspector Mekwa. Go ahead, don't be shy. Ask away. Can you get pregnant if you kiss on the first date? Perhaps strange things will start happening to your face. Your, 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 your when will my bumps become breasts? Certain body parts will start to evolve before others. And it Does it have to rain it. for my dick to get hard? Um, let's ask the French. Here in Gay Paris, young men and women have the same questions in preparing for the physical union. Martine is wondering will she fall pregnant if she kisses on the first date. Jean-Paul is wondering if his umbrella is big enough as it's starting to rain. In any case, they both agree that puberty is a wonderful force of nature with no better place to celebrate it than in this park. <clears throat> they know to grow a tree, first you have to plant the seed. With sunlight, water, nature's gifts to mankind and tree alike, the seed grows within the... 
The seed grows. <clears throat> we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties with our film in France. Isn't that unfortunate, boys and girls? Let's see how this father-son bonding is working out for Johnny and his father. Dead. Thanks, son. So, uh, what are you doing tonight, son? Going to the park. Susie and I got to stay off French. <laughs> 